Ah yes, back here again. Hello everyone, my name is Lord Thor- Huh, how about that? Hello everyone, my name is Lord Thor and welcome back to Minecraft Vampires and Wars. It appears I have the whole place to myself. Excellent! Alright. And today I have some plans of what I'm going to do. Yes, I have some plans of what I'm going to do. It looks like they cleaned up the place. It's pretty, pretty snazzy looking. Now, unfortunately, my circle's not going to work. But getting back home, this is unloaded chunk of where my home is. No sneaking about in here today. That would be a nuisance. Lovely spot all the same. Ah, it's almost night time. Well, they have a wonderful windmill farm set up. It looks gorgeous. In fact, I think their hemp production could do with a minor trimming there. So, oops, didn't mean to take it out. It's at an odd level. Very nice, actually, feels. I like they have the plants around the windmills. It's very styling. Very, very styling. All right. Well, I got my hemp seeds. So, off back to my own base. I wish I had a wand that I could just fling myself there. Alas and lack. Not everything is in my favor. Well, now. Curious thing I've come across, a sunken ship. What a wonder this is. Shall I investigate it? It seems to be very deep though in this sand. I have no tools of which to ply to work it, nor no spells of which to break through its surface. Still, it's intriguing, is it not? Luckily, I have a supply of jungle wood, which can be plied into a craft. And then, with but a little work, we can get ourselves a functioning shovel. Such as the wonders of Minecraft is it not. And here we have a door to the lower decks. And we go. Ah, lovely. What have we here? What lays before us in the sandy depths? I have but one torch. One torch to lay the whole place bare. A nice light, though. Lots and lots of sand. No treasure comes forth just yet. Who knows what corners it will lie in? There it is. And now, now this is exciting. Sort a logistics core, compressed iron nuggets, emeralds. Well, these seem to be of the highest value. Compressed stone? Hmm. Takes work to make, but I have no idea what it's for. Ah, Aaron's back. Well then. Appears we have company once more. Right then. And to try again and that to the bat wing. Ah. Interesting. First explosion. Well, I think I got it without explosions. Do boats usually have more than one treasure in them? Interesting question. Something to ponder. I do not know, though. I'll be satisfied with just the one, I think. Right then. Well then, through the woods then we go. into the sea. The access point back to my home. Not very far now. Across the shore here. 
and sunken ship beneath the waves presents itself before us as well. More treasure to be found. Old Galleon. The Lord Minecraft is ever expanded even just by such simple sunken ships. Someone's always been to this one though. That makes it also exciting. The treasure has already been delved. Ah, both were found. A clever and intrepid traveler came across this place long before us. Still, what an interesting tale it does be. Ah yes, my knives of sweet. Someone's home I have found. Perhaps some dwelling. This way. What is this place? Building of a hut here. A seal pen. A wall of stone. A thin wall of thin stone. Forges for corners, that's an interesting decorative trick. A very simple house. How odd it is. Or not at all. Forges. But something else. They do happen to have resources, that's no lie. Nothing of great value though. There's no sign of knowledge to who they may be. And I've fogged the whole place up. Tombstone. Ah. That is interesting. So there's nothing that just stands there. Intriguing. Simple island. I like it. Okay. Nothing special. Up. A small detour. It's a small place, but interesting nevertheless. Who knows what other places and things people have snuck and slunken into. Yes, each telling their own little tale, their own idea about what's going on in the world. There's so much to it. It's very interesting. Oh! Look at that. I think that's actually a patch of breathable air down there, and that's why everything's broken around it. These are rather interesting little patches, if you can get down to them. Yes, look at this. They collapsed not so. They're meant to be bubbles. But because the bottom of this ocean, here, see, is made out of gravel, it collapsed in a most interesting pattern. Hopefully I can get back up to the surface before I drown. A very interesting little patch we got there. Alright then. Now this here. There we go. Oh, you can see that. It actually acts as a lighthouse. That is brilliant. My giant spinning lamp actually makes it a lighthouse. Oh, I love that. That is very good. <laughs> that is very good. Alright. Now then. We are back. Right and proper. And through the cave. What a lovely cave. Yes, what a lovely, lovely cave. Here we are. Out and in the open again. I do wonder, with all the resources, if anyone has done a mining here. Let's see. Oh, shoot. I need to stop filling everything with mist. If it was illuminated down here. Perhaps not. Hmm. Too long a walk by far. Too long a walk by far. Ah well. Ah well. Now then, to the task at hand. I have plans, you see. Great and dangerous plans great and dangerous purposes. They require a little bit of effort. A little bit of guile. Berries. 
fairies. Let us capture some fairies, shall we? I've left them alone for too long. I should be over by here. Oh, I didn't take any hinder with me. Do you know what the discrimination thing is mentioned in the tombstones menu? Dis no, I don't, I'm afraid. Oh, yes, I have to answer you in human form. Perhaps the mainland will hardly hold them. No, I'm afraid not. Well, I let my plants grow. I can definitely try to do some fey hunting. Right. Eyes to see. Mystical eyes. A fey sight. Let's see. Ley lines and fairies. Yes. That's exactly what I want. Ley lines and fairies. Is this scroll? Yes. Well, I shall make four scrolls of this then. I should find some fairies because I wish for a fairy dust. All right. Now then, up through the halls and through the ways we shall go. And there, a long bridge of fire and a broken gateway. Here we go. And before us, a skeletal horse and burning trees. Very good. Then a little old chocolate factory. This mechanism is still running. Oh, bollocks. So much power wasted. Let's be careful with these items. Now then. Excellent. And power. Let me see. Where do you converge lines? Hmm. Not that way. So perhaps this way. Not much time left to find. I only see the one line. In this direction is the ocean. Ah, a convergence. Excellent. No fairies do I hear. Hmm. All right, then. You little monsters. Show yourselves to me. Where are you hiding? Why have none of you spawned? Hmm. What does the book say on the fae folk? Let's just see the fairies, yes. The fae. The fae are spirit like creatures, occasionally roam the earth. Like in ley lives, they can also be seen with mystic eyes, the fae sight. Their laughter sounds as bells and drops fae ends upon death. They are particularly attracted to magic beings. Perform magic being performed in ley lives. They are breedable, though they use a powder catalyst. Yes, I click it at the scrolls. So they will come to me performing magic here. Now then, let us mark this spot. Then we shall perform some simple spells for our own amusement and theirs as well. Right then. Let's not delay. Right then. I've gained some magic supplies, so let's see if we can't summon to us some fairies. I'm going to attempt several things and several different spells and incantations. I don't have a lot of power, but I've got a fair amount. So I can probably perform a fair amount of things. Here it is. We have one last scroll to look into the Fey world. Within this area, 
should be the Fey. So I'm not attracted to that. A shame, but to be expected. Now what simple spells can I cast and make? Treasury Projection. That's a fun one. The scroll gives you a gauntlet which lets you throw your weapons. Yes. So. Enter a high diamond diamond. Cloth required. Last cloth I possess. And what was it again? Yes. Diamond diamond eye. Anyway, I don't have any eye. Well then. I guess we will need a transferring spell. What is it called again? Boiled Authority, Staff of Spatula, Minor Grabbuoyance, Immunity Exchange, Alchemical Exchange. Once, there, once a day, around the time, place, and converse a block underneath. No, not a chemical. Catalyst Exchange, that's it. No cloth required. And there we have it. Catalysts for the exchanging. And here's the stuff we looked for. Ooh, an ender. Brilliant. My inventory is a little full, though. And I don't want to give up any of it, but the sticks are the most replaceable. Now then. What was it called again? Projection, treasury projection. This and diamonds. We shall put down our larger mage tech power source. And there we go. And should have given us a gauntlet. Hmm. Definitely drains my power. I wonder if I didn't have enough open inventory for it to form into. Ink sacks I don't need. Huh. Odd. Maybe they want other sorts of magic performed for them. I don't hear them anywhere, which is annoying, but I do want to bring them about. Hmm. Shared pain, staff of explosion, borrowed authority, cup of heaven. Yes, mystical eyes binding. Minor clairvoyance. Eyes of black flame. Summon a familiar. Quartz. It needs a cloth. Can't do anything that requires cloth. Not anymore. A lot of those force fields, though, are kind of fun to project. Power consolidation. This creates the lake. As reality marble. 4,000. I'm curious to see reality marble. That requires a cloth, though. Cloth, 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 cloth. No cloth for scrying. Equivalent displacement. Order displacement. Projectile. Disp ascension. Gravity boundary. Gold. And then, iron, iron. Well then, let us perform that magic. Come out, fairies. Gold, iron, iron. Hmm. What does that spell even do?
Sky Band, increase the ground leaf for mobs. Other than the caster in a range of 10. Tangible boundary. Diamond iron. Yes. That's also fun. You can perform that as well. Okay then. Diamond. Diamond iron. Set forth. There's the boundary. He's still here. No Fay. Confounding. I have to talk to Anna about this maybe at some point. Hmm. Well, anyways. I shall proceed next into occultism. I shall leave these places to their will. The sorcery contained in these spots. Proceed from this place to my own home. Where next time we shall explore the world of the occult and figure out how to bring about a thunderstorm. For such powers exist in this world, I am eager to explore and find. And so occultism shall be the next step to the eradication of the evil vampires. Yes, I have plans, you see. So, thank you very much for all sticking around with me through this madman's ramblings. And I'll catch you all next time. So until that